Uh, hello, America. I'm Ben Stiller. In 1992, I had a show here on Fox. They ridiculed me for my effort. I was canceled. Then, I won this. It's called an Emmy. Let's change cameras. Now, having returned to television a wealthy and powerful man, I've directed an incredible new action series called Heat Vision and Jack. In it, we follow the adventures of a super intelligent renegade astronaut and his talking motorcycle. Some of you will marvel at our state-of-the-art special computerized effects, which, quite frankly, rival those of a certain new Star Wars movie. Some of you will be frightened or aroused. Still others may be entertained. As a person you admire, I'm giving you permission to appreciate this show. I'm also offering you my personal guarantee that it's going to knock you back onto your coal mining asses. And that's a promise you won't be hearing from Georgie Lucas. Hey there, Mr. Beard. How many Emmys do you have? Once again, America, I give you what you want. My friend Jack says the universe is infinite. He says you could travel forever and never reach the edge. I say the edge is where you find it. Oh, it gets by, Carter. Carter goes back to Jason Johnson, takes off Mo the third Johnson. Oh, man, it's going to be Come on, Carter. you scope shoes. He throws into Reno, who's covering, and it's going to be... inappropriate levels of solar energy. Sunlight makes him the world's smartest man. I know everything! I want that brain taken out. Heat Vision, the motorcycle with the mind of Jack's unemployed roommate. Together they run for their lives, blocked at every turn by adventure. Move up, don't mess around. Move up, you bring me down. Start wearing down heat vision. My wheels are fine, Jack, but I could use some food. Hey, remember when I was human and we ran out of gas in Tijuana and we got smashed on that cheap tequila and then you woke up with a 72-year-old woman and she followed us to the border and the police wouldn't let you back into America until you kissed her in front of everybody? And Be I quiet. Haven't... I can't see the road when you talk. You can shut the grill off, Frank. Your kind is a disease. You have infected this planet. Uh, Frank, don't say that. I am no longer Frank. Yeah, well, who are you then? The ape woman needs a label. Call me Paragon. Call me master, you worthless monkey whore. Frank. All monkey slugs shall be absorbed.
Now we can both fill up, huh? Who wants premium? Heat vision? I was asked to be quiet. Hey, listen, man, we shouldn't be fighting. Oh! What the f happened here? Jack, is that blood? The blood of tomatoes. Heat vision. We've stumbled onto the scene of a very unusual crime. We tend to do that, don't we? You shouldn't point those things at people, they're dangerous. Only if I pull the trigger. I wasn't talking about the gun. Neither was I. Where's heat vision? If you're talking about your bike, it's evidence now. It'll be staying at the diner for a while. Don't count on it. I'm not a criminal. Tell me your name. I can't do that. Spoken like a criminal. Maybe I'll place a call to your employers. Who? NASA? Wait, please. You'll put us both in grave danger. Don't call them. So talk to me. Okay. Here we go again. My name is Jack Austin. I was an astronaut. On my last mission, an orbital mix-up brought me too close to the sun. back, extensive testing revealed that my brain had expanded. Expanded? Apparently the human mind is not unlike cookie dough. Mine was baked by the sun, causing it to rise, increasing its cognitive capacity. Now I'm up to three times smarter than the smartest man in the world. And NASA would, of course, confirm this. You're not listening to me. NASA is evil. They have a man tracking me down. A very dangerous man. His name is Ron Silver. Like me, a former astronaut. But also a gifted actor. And a cold-blooded killer. Ron Silver, huh? Say, let me ask you one question, Jack. Uh-huh. How high did your rocket ship take you before you got totally baked. No. Sheriff's office. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, I'll be right there. Looks like this could be your alibi. Someone just trashed a motel room out on Highway 7. Room was registered to a Mr. Bob Paragon. Be careful, Sheriff. Paragon is not of this world. You know him? No, but I saw what you saw at the diner. If you find another pile of ash at the motel, you'll know you're in over your head. And I'll come back for you, right? Oh, I won't be here. Come sunrise, I'll be so intelligent, no cell will be able to hold me. Oh, well, uh, careful on your way out. I hardly ever feed Gary. <coughs> Fish.
vision. Heat vision, you gotta help me. Okay, I can't get in there, man. Doorknobs, remember? Come on, you big ball of gas. Light my darkest hour. Okay. Not you. This is very, very strange. He's actually a dehydrated human tissue. Are you saying someone removed the water from six missing prostitutes? And that would be one theory. If that technology existed outside of comic books and rap music. Hi there. I'm, I'm just in the room down the hall and, and I saw the squad car. Oh, no need to be alarmed, sir. If it was, I'd know about it before you. Just kidding. I need to ask a few questions. I'm Ron Silver. I just rented Time Cop. You are the bad guy in Time Cop. Yeah, well, acting is one of my more enjoyable diversions. However, right now, what I'd really like to do is find a man named Jack Austin. Can I trouble you for an autograph? Yeah, if you have a pen. How exactly do you know Mr. Austin? I don't have a pen. I'll get a pen, and I'll give you an autograph. He's a test subject. We are researching the effects of zero gravity on the, uh, mentally ill. Am I to take it you know where he is? to check the captain's log. Oh, you are so bad. Tell me another. <laughs> okay, okay. One more. How do Klingons board their spaceship? How? They cling on. Gary? What's wrong? He escaped. Did he say which way he'd be heading? East? West? No, you take it easy, ma'am. Honey, you just sicked a very dangerous man on the world. Hey, wait a second. I have questions. Take those questions. <laughs> and shove them where the sun does not shine. If I feel so much as one bullet hit me, I'll come over there and pull your lungs through your nostrils. We'll be back with more Heat Vision and Jack right after this. Oh, 
Give me directions to the sunken pleasure. Uh, I'm from out of town, buddy. I really can't help you. Push on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do you work here? Wait, were you here last night? No, I was. Uh, I, uh. Holy sh! What are you doing? What are we? Jack! Crazy eyes! Heat vision. Hey! That's my bike! <laughs> Pathetic human! Electron dispersal. Jack! Uh, I can't see you! Heat are vision. you there? Jack, where are you? What? Heat vision. He pushed me over. Oh. He got away? Listen, lady, he pushed me over. Okay, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> Apparently not. Jack. Ron Silver tracked you down. Silver? Jack. Uh, Jack. Uh, Breathe. We should be safe here. It's my grandmother's house. She's on tour till the end of April. Hey, you little rascal, slow down! Yeah, so human. How long did it take you to build him? I didn't. Heat vision's an accident. Like me. After I got back to Earth, NASA had me under lock and key. When they found out what had happened to my brain, they decided to remove it. Hip to their jive, I called my roommate Doug and asked him to come pick me up. If I had known then what I know now, I would have called a cab. Doug was, shot. Doug was shot with an experimental ray. He merged with his bike. Doug died that day and Heat Vision was born. He seems okay with it. Hey, do you guys have any matches? We're gonna light some leaves on fire. Well, you learn to accept things when you're on the run. If fate makes you a motorcycle, you become a motorcycle. Does the same go for you? Well, I'm not a motorcycle. You never get tired of running. You never have to stop for gas. Sometimes I do. This is a great place. Your grandmother must be really rich. The gas always lives to regret it. As a spark, an explosion, I move forward and the gas is consumed, exhausted. You promise? <laughs> Hey, Sheriff. Hey. What's that? 
the silver bullet. Paragon is an alien signal broadcast to our planet, occupying the body of that unfortunate chef. It kills by setting up a visual feedback that vibrates the energy from its victim's body. It uses the optic uh -huh. nerve as a main channel. That's why I couldn't turn heat vision into ashes. Heat got no eyes. It's true. I don't have any eyes. During that moment of feedback, Paragon is vulnerable to a reversal of the process. Next time we see him, I'm going to get crazy on him. Hard style, because I owe him. Once I knock his glasses off, you tap him with this. The alien goes into the boombox, the dish disperses a signal. Mm, paragon. Jack, 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 Paragon. <laughs> I get it. Now we just have to find him. Okay, okay. Heat vision. Did Paragon say anything to you when you talked to him? Could you talk more slowly? Heat vision, no understand. Heat. Yeah, he did. He wanted directions to a sunken treasure. I couldn't. Vision. No, no, I'm serious. That's what he said, Jack. Sunken treasure. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The sunken pleasure. Yeah! My girl Neptuna, that's right, she ain't doing this for nothing. Come on, give her some pieces of eight. See that? Hey, that guy disintegrated Jasmine. All monkey tramps dance on Paragon's lap. you inferior females to reject Paragon. You're tripping. Free, Silver. Silver.
to label this? Oh, that's going to turn out great. That would be a great picture. Let's try to get one with all three of you sitting here. All right. Ooh. I love sunsets. I don't. Be very careful with this. Paragon's glide sustaining ions have been neutralized by the cassette's residual magnetism, but his protophotonic pattern is still together on the, uh, thing. <laughs> Dispose of it in the proper method. What, what, what is that? Uh, I, uh, ah. Uh. Throw it away. Jack, if you stay, I could help you. In the past, I've tried to tell my story to journalists. I've tried to make friends. I've tried to open up to women. They've died. I've burnt my daylight. I've got a ride. Heat vision! So long, Jack Austin. So long, Sheriff. Bye, Heat! She was a little clingy. Heat vision. Move out. I'm right behind him. No, I can't see him. I mean, I, I mean, I'm one step behind him. Yes, sir. You can't run forever, Jack. Not from death. Not from your shadow. Not from Ron Silver. Jack says the Earth shape is mankind's curse because we can never reach our horizon. I say a round planet is a gift. We can move forward forever, find a different horizon every week. Good night.